what is up guys it's your boy andy matrix and you have heard it all over the internet diversity and inclusion representation progressivism moving society forward what if i told you that anime presents this much better than many american cartoons and tv shows and yes even movies how about it I've been watching anime since the 1990s and this new generation of anime fans, they don't seem to understand it. Yes, my friends, anime is very progressive. Now, don't get me wrong, anime is not W-O-K-E. <laughs> anime does not necessarily support everything that SJWs scream about on the internet, but anime is indeed progressive. So, let's take a look at some examples. And let's start with the rainbow people. Gay characters. Anime has so many gay characters, but you don't hear about, about it on, on Twitter, you know, from the Twitter mob and left wingers talking about this, right? For example, okay, let's remove the censorship of Sailor Moon for a moment. Did you know that Sailor Uranus, wait, um, did I say that right? Sailor Uranus. <laughs> no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Sailor Uranus. Man, whatever. Sailor Uranus was a lesbian. As a matter of fact, Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune were a couple, did you know? Right? But, of course, American television had to censor it. And Ymir from Attack on Titan developed feelings for Historia. Maybe some people missed that. As popular as Attack on Titan is, how come no one talked about this, right? In the anime, Yuri on Ice, there is a gay character called Victor who develops feelings for the main character, Yuri. Okay, in the all-popular Evangelion, Kowato is very straightforward, you know, with his feelings towards Shinji and even tells Shinji that he loves him. And that's just gay characters. But wait a minute, what about brown people? You know, people of color, whatever, whatever we're calling them nowadays. Let's take a look at some anime. Michi Koto Hachin, a criminal Brazilian babe. Oh boy, man, I smashed that left and right. What about Darui in Naruto Shippuden, a cloud ninja? He has some really cool moves. What about the Raikage in Naruto? And heck, you know, what about Killer B in his horrible rap lyrics? <laughs> there is also Ogun Montgomery from Fire Force. You don't hear much about this character in representation from, you know, from the Twitter mob. Oh yeah, and have you ever heard of Claudia Lazale from the 1980s anime, The Super Dimension Fortress Macros? Yeah, from the 1980s. I know, right? <laughs> Many of you have probably already heard about this one. Afro Samurai voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, of course. Now, I could go on and on and on about representation, diversity, or whatnot, but focusing on those things does not make the story better. The point is that anime is progressive, you know, before people were screaming about it in the West, for God's sakes. Anime was always progressive for the longest time, right? Anime has had more female leads than Western cartoons. Look at all the bad chicks in anime. For example, starting with Tsunade from Naruto. I mean, the Naruto anime is itself is filled with amazing females that just kick ass and left and right but of course that is not enough there has there have also been transgender ideas in anime such as ranma one half yeah have, have you ever you guys ever heard of ranma have you ever heard of ranma huh or maybe i'm just too old good god <laughs> so a quick explanation ranma ranma one half it's about a guy in Japan that turns into a girl every time he falls into hot water. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It doesn't sound it doesn't sound that interesting until you actually read the manga or watch the anime. You know, this is actually a very common theme in anime where a guy turns into a girl or a girl turns into a guy. Anime has been exploring the idea of switching genders for the longest time. How's that for being progressive? You know? Thank God I'm a millennial. I get to see both sides of the story. <laughs> so the point here is that anime is indeed progressive, but so many people in the West hate it. And I'm not talking about the people you would expect to dislike it in, in anime, to dislike anime, such as, let's say, Matt Walsh saying that anime is satanic. <laughs> 
but rather people that claim to be progressive and W-O-K-E. They also find themselves hating anime. Why is that? Because if you think about it, if you are part of the LGBT community, there is so much in anime that you enjoy. However, I think one of the main reasons why SJWs and all these crazy people on the internet hate anime is because it stirs up insecurities. I mean, think about it. Anime has lots of girls with big tatas, and the people that hate anime have certain beliefs about how women should be, you know? Anime is popular with boys, and, well, you already know how that goes because, mascu because masculinity is toxic or whatnot. And finally, SJWs and the woke mob are so used to telling people what to do without consequences. So, when they go to the anime community and they have absolutely no power over Japanese artists, they throw a tantrum. <laughs> but hey, what do you think? Guys, make sure to comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your boy Andy Matrix. Godspeed!